Hey, what is up, guys? AJ Brook Reviews here, and today we'll be looking at LEGO Atlantis 8079 Shadow Snapper. It was a limited edition, limited release from Toys R Us. Retail for $30. Nowadays, you can find it sealed for around between 40 and 50 bucks. I bought this sealed off offer up. The box is open, but the bags and everything in there are sealed. So let's get right into it. Um, I bought this off of offer up. This one and the LEGO City set for $20, both. There. This is a city set. I bought both of them for 40. So again, sealed bags and pair of goggles or glasses, 3D glasses. I don't know what these are for, but I'll, I'll look into that. You have the instructions, this little band right there. You have stickers and you have bag too. I'm gonna build this, be right back. So here's our one and only figure, Lance Spears. Here's our diver. When you take this helmet off, you show his torso face and his face, which has some stubbles on it for hair. And if you can focus. There. You go to the back. His face looks pretty scared. No printing on the back leg. They do like the, uh, like the printing on torsos for all the divers. And he's holding one of the keys. This one is yellow and it has a turtle uh, symbol on it. And that's one of the keys he's trying to retrieve from the Shadow Snapper. So now let's look into the vehicle and the monster. Here is our monster. This is a shadow snapper. This is a, um, the monster that has the key right here, the yellow key that the diver, Lance Spears, is trying to get. You can put the key in there and just hold it like that. Kind of hard to, but you can see in the box picture what I'm talking about as the monster is holding it. You have these claws in front here that, again, can hold either the figure if he's getting captured or eaten or the little um, key. Then you have these gray, uh, I guess these gray bricks here with the ball and joint that connect to the main body of the build, which is covered by this gr light green um, piece right here with these two stickers on it. That's like the underbelly. You can see this is the main build right here in the front of like this open side. And then the two arms are on this side right here with connected these studs. You have these two red eyes in the front and then two stickers also in the front. The mouth can open up like that. Then you have all these spikes right here. Very technic like build, if I can describe it that way. Uh, you have these horns which can move up or move down. They are down in the box. Um, and then the tail back here can also rotate uh, 360. And then you have these two back claws to make it look like the monster is swimming through the ocean chasing after our diver. So overall, it's a really cool build. The only problem I have with it is that the underside is very open and empty, especially viewing it from the side right here. But the color scheme is nice with the light green and the black. I like the claws, the mouth, the just main facial structure of the monster itself, the Shadow Snapper. Um, the build, again, a little open side, some like gray, yellow pieces you can see right there from the top or from the side. But yeah, overall, uh, a great use of ball and joint pieces. And yeah, let's look at the box and the instructions. So here is our aquatic vehicle. Um, like kind of like a submarine mixed with like a, hmm, like a, like a speeder, I guess. So, you know, underwater speeder. So starting from the front here, you have one sticker and then you have your lights in the front. I like the green, the lime green and the right color scheme, like with uh, mostly Atlanta sets. And then right here you have a seat for your one passenger. You have two flick fire missiles and then you also have, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little sick. You also have two stickers on the side here for design. Um, the foot fire missiles, you know, they're normal. Like that. You can fire them. And it's just three pieces put together. And then on the top here, you have this little uh, piece that can go rotate up and down. Or articulate up and down. That's just for a little cover for our uh, diver in here. Matter of fact, I will see them in the scuba speeder, that's what I'm gonna call it, to make it, to show you what it looks like with them in. It looks like that. That's what it looks like with your character in. It is a little uh, weird how this part is like blocking a lot of the view, but at the same time, this these two pieces are used for protection against our monster here. Um, again, you back you have a few pieces. You have two harpoons that can be taken off and be used with your figure. And then you have this rotating propeller jet engine. Um, we're not engine. Well, yeah, jet engine piece, I guess. And it can go up, down, and to the side. 
The only thing that's uh, pretty weird to me that it's only one side has a propeller. It's not it's not something that has a propeller on this side and on this side. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty all right build. Um, I don't really have many major flaws with it. There is some uh, pieces here. I guess more detail would be added right here, I wish, on the, this L-shaped area right here. And I guess I wish it two propellers. Um, but other than that, it's not a bad vehicle for 2010 and for a set like this. Um, you know, it does good at a vehicle that needs to go against the monster. So, now let's look at the monster. Here is our build, so let's get right into it. First off, I unboxed the glasses and the regular 3D glasses. They're used for a uh, game or a little movie you can watch uh, on lego.com. Went to have the Atlantis theme up there. Again, regular 3D glasses. You can read it right there. Then it has the Atlantis logo, lego.com. Basic cheap toggle or uh, no, glasses. Then in the packaging, also came with this booklet. This is what it's used for. It's a game, I believe. Um, you can see it there, right there, lego.com. And it also shows a bunch of the sets right here. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. Then the instructions here, very basic, again. Uh, has, I like the blue background they use with, like, the bubbles and the ocean background. Has your main build. The parts count, the wind kit on the back, classic. Then you have a graphic right here of all the sets. Then you have a, with the uh, key you get, this yellow uh, key, I'm the someone call it. You can use a camera and it will show a uh, something on the computer. You can go right there, where that link is. It doesn't exist anymore, I'm guessing, because of the fact that it's on LaSanLego.com. Again, another advertisement for the 3D glasses. Then right here, uh, more ads for other sets. Do you want to hope to... to uh, so I unboxed the glasses. Here's what they look like. Regular basic 3D glasses. You have the Atlantis logo, 2010 Lego Group, .com. And then, again, 3D glasses. These are actually for a game, I believe, on the lego.com website. Uh, and this little pamphlet it has, again, has shows the advertisement for the game or video, whatever it is. Um, again, more uh, safety stuff with the glasses in different languages and ads for all the sets i hear the instructions um I'm just gonna flip through them whatever i do like the ocean background they use you can see right there we're gonna go to the back we have the wing kid we have the lego club park count we have a little uh graphic right here of all the sets then you have with the key i believe you can uh Go to lego.com and unlock something there with that link. Then another linus.lego.com. More sets straight here. Then it shows all of them combined. Like that. And then it shows even more sets. So yeah, um, back then they used a lot of advertisements and stuff to promote their sets. Uh, you wouldn't really see something like that today. Uh, the box, or here's a sticker sheet. There's a seven stickers, so it's not that bad. Um, there's some smaller stickers, especially with, like, the sub. But most of them, especially these three, are big, so. Here is the box. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit. Movie magic. Here is the box. We have the limited edition on it because this was a Toy Dolls exclusive. You have the key with the monster, the Shadow Snapper, um, holding on to it. And then our guy in the sub fighting him. You have the yellow key with the turtle on it. The back shows the play features with the directional propeller or engine. And then the dual flick torpedoes. And then it shows all the keys you can collect. Then on the bot uh, bottom right here, it shows the first... Uh, it shows the advertisement for Spring 2010 of the first LEGO DVD movie, Adventures of Clutch Powers. Side here, limited edition. Down on the top, it shows, you know, the normal stuff it does. So, yeah. And then there's a safety for the flick fire missile. So, yeah, overall, uh, pretty nice set, limited edition. For 30 bucks, it's not bad. 
Um, you get your figure, you get your monster, you get your play features, you get all that. Do I recommend buying the set? If you're into Atlantis, I do. If you're not, um, you could pass on it. It's not that big of a deal. But if you see this for a good deal, I do recommend buying it. Um, you know, for it being limited edition, only being available at Toys R Us, which doesn't even exist anymore. So yeah, overall, not bad of a set. It does have uh, a few things I don't like about it. I uh, wish there was more details on it added onto the sub and with the monster, how it's so open here. But uh, other than that, again, great set. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all later.